Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about enolates. In the last video I uh, talked about keto enol tautomerization and enols in specific. Enols are tautomers of, of carbonyl compounds that are interconverting or in equilibrium with the carbonyl version and that, that equilibrium can happen in either acid or base. Well, the and, and that interconversion goes through either a shared conjugate acid or a shared conjugate base. The shared conjugate base of the ketone enol form has a special name. I'm looking for this box. I'm going to clear some things out of here. The shared conjugate base. Has some has a special name, and that is this is the the enolate, uh, and so it's en enol, right? Enol for the structure, and eight eight is being the uh, a suffix meaning anion. So this shared conjugate base is the enolate anion, and like enols. Enolate anions are nucleophilic at the alpha carbon, and we're going to see them used as nucleophiles in some reactions uh, coming up. Though in this video, I want to talk about choosing a base uh, to generate an enolate. Since I'm talking about acetone, and if I wanted to generate the enolate of anion of acetone. And it's worth noting that the enolate is often represented in this resonance form and not in uh, another, and not in the, the other resonance form, the carbanion resonance form. Uh, if, we, if we really want to generate a lot of this enolate, we need to know some, some acid base chemistry. And so for example, the pKa of acetone is 19.2. So we can use that information to choose a base or to make some intelligent decisions about the base. Right? So if we wanted to use sodium hydroxide and water, we should actually expect that this equilibrium will favor the ketone form by a fair amount because the pKa of water is 15.7. So water is a stronger acid than acetone. And so you're not gonna get a lot of enolate anion in acetone, right? but you're gonna get some or in, in sodium hydroxide solution water, you're going to get some, uh, and that might be good enough for, for some applications. However, if you wanted to get almost complete and total conversion, you need to use a base that is much stronger. And so uh, let me tell you about some that folks tend to use. Here's hydride, right? So hydride is available as not, not water. Goodness, no. Hydride is available in forms like sodium hydride, and the conjugate acid of hydride is hydrogen gas. Which is which is a gas and bubbles up out of the reaction. But even if it wasn't a gas, the pKa of hydrogen is like 44. So here we have a much much weaker acid. And so this really will drive the equilibrium all the way to the conjugate, all the way to the enolate anion. Let me just double check that pKa on hydrogen. I'm looking in the front cover of my trusty textbook, which is where everybody's, everybody should know where their pKa table is for reference. I am wrong. Hydrogen is 36. 44 is uh, one of the hydrocarbons. Still, much, much more less acidic. Uh, another common reagent is uh, lithium diisopropyl amide, LDA, where L, 
Pa equals lithium diisopropyl amide. And that looks like this thing, well, with a with a lithium anion, right? And again, the pKa of the corresponding conjugate acid is in the upper 30s. Um, pKa of ammonia is 38, so the pKa of this thing is higher than 38. Uh, and so again, we have a, a fairly strong base. It's going to generate the uh, enolate anion very, very, uh, if it's very, very little of the ketone remaining. I just want to do one further uh, example. And we could go back to, I want to use a molecule where you have a, a diketone and you have a Hydrogen, these hydrogen atoms in between two carbonyl groups. The pKa of this compound is 9. And so this is a big difference. In this case, we can use sodium hydroxide uh, in water, uh, where water's pKa is 15.7. So we're 6.5, 6.7 pKa units higher, which means we are 10 to the 6.7 for 10 to the almost 7 units uh, less, more acidic than water, which means the equilibrium constant is going to be 10, you know, 10 to the 7 in favor of the enolate. And that enolate is going to happen in between the two carbonyl groups because you get not one resonance contributor for for stabilization you get you get two I don't know what that was you get three total resonance contributors contributing to the stability of this enolate anion oxygen plus there we go Right, so in this position is much, much more acidic, uh, and therefore you can use a weaker base to deprotonate it. In the next video, we're going to talk about enolate ions on non-symmetric ketones uh, and how you might choose a base to, to favor one side over the other. Thank you for watching.